وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Amazing, wonderful, exciting unboxing today. This is a book that I've kept sealed up. I've got a big empty spot where it needs to go to just because I wanted to share it with you. Now, this is not a regular book. This is a very special book and I'll explain why. The author of this book is a sister, a female scholar of our time, who has written many, many really valuable books. And these have been an inspiration for many of our sisters to really seek knowledge. And not just seek knowledge on a base level, but to go deeper into research and write so we can have a legacy from our sisters in Islam. Not a legacy of modernism or feminism or throwing off the hijabism or trying to change Islamism. No, a legacy like the great scholarettes, the female scholars of this ummah in the past, Fatima al makkiya al hanbaliya and before them Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet والسلام, and others who have done so much work, that have done so much research, that have done so much for the ummah that today our sisters should be inspired by those women whose pictures are not in the internet, they're not making videos, they're not out there Instagramming and things like this. No, they're there researching and, and doing the work that will benefit the ummah for, for generations. So, without further ado, what's the book? This is a book called Tasheel al Mukni fi Hal al Fad Rawt al Murbi'a. Rawt al Murbi'a, amazing book by Al Bayuti. As well known, it is the Sharh of Zad al Mustakni' by Al Hajjawi. And these are books we've talking, talked about a lot. Uh, Zad al Mustakni' is a matan, it's a small text written by Al Hajjawi, uh, Al Hanbali, the great scholar. And this is a book I teach. And there are many shuruh, many explanations, including that of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen called Sharh al Mumti', which is up here. This whole section from here onwards is dedicated to the book Rawd al Murbi'a. And before that, to Zad al Mustakni, all the way up to top where you can't see in the camera, these are all explanations of either the actual text called Zad al Mustakni or explanations of its explanation called Rawd al Murbi'a. And this is a explanation, or you could say a, a way to facilitate learning the explanation called Rawt al Murbi'a, which again is going to be based on the text Zad al Mustakni. All right, let's open it up, inshallah. It's always so exciting opening a new book. Allahu Akbar. All right, so uh, Dar ibn Hazm, well-known print house, amazing, great work that they do. May Allah protect them and, and reward them. Now, this has uh, the sister that wrote it, uh, Doctora Kamila Kawari. Uh, I have no idea who she is. I mean, I've never seen a picture or heard from her or anything. But all we know from the introductions is that she is a sister out of Qatar and she has done amazing work. I have a few other books that she has written. Uh, this is a summary of a Hanbali book called Dalil al-Talib that uh, was written by Al-Fatima al-Hanbaliya, a very early scholar. Uh, so this is something that I've benefited from. And this, when I got this, I started to think about uh, the, the work that women have done for the promotion and work on Islamic sciences from this text, which is not written by the sister, I started to research about women that had written works and her name came up. I have a few other books. She has this here, which is a Mukhtasar from uh, Sharh al Mumti' of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen. She did a one volume summary from the amazing 15 volume work of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen. I got that and I got a few other books from her. And when I heard about this book, I had to have it. I teach Zad al-Mustakni'a, so it's very relevant to what I teach and I benefit from. So Rawd al murbiah is a classic al uh sharh explanation of Zad al-Mustakni'a. She did an amazing work. It's not just an explanation, but it explains the words. It makes it easy for you to understand the language of Rawd al murbiah So uh, now, mashallah, you can see it's excellent print. Uh, Dar ibn, uh, ibn Hazm, as I mentioned, excellent print. Uh, it's mulawan, it's uh, multicolored, meaning the titles 
and the abwab are in a dark crimson burgundy kind of color. Uh, the rest of the writing is in black. Um, it will, so for example, Bab at Tayammum. This is the chapter on the dry evolution. So first she will explain what is Tayammum linguistically. And then she will explain what is it in the Sharia, what is the, the legal explanation. And then um, where, what does, when the Matan explains it, the text explains it, she explains the language of it. Where is the Badal, what is the explanation, uh, the Hulul Waqt and everything that, that explains the text. So it's not giving you so much evidence, and, uh, but rather making the understanding of the words of the, of the book itself easy. So it's really beneficial. A lot of times people pick up a book and they, the Arabic is very old school like beauties here and they assume they understand the matan but they don't. So this kind of work can really help you comprehend. Alhamdulillah, it is in five large volumes, uh, well bound, well researched. Um, you know, they, there is not a lot of uh, ahadith or ayat mentioned because it's really kind of giving you the explanation of the wordings. So there's not, uh, I don't see much takhrij work, but uh, there are references to earlier texts given, like here in Al-Ikna'a, and it gives you the reference of where it's from and so on. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it that these works benefit all of us, men, women, doesn't matter. Um, but especially encourage our sisters that the way to serve the ummah is not by making makeup tutorials on TikTok, uh, rather to go and do this kind of work where you are doing academic work and leaving a legacy behind that people may not see your face or see your makeup or see your hair but they will benefit from your work and even after you leave this world people will be reading and benefiting from these works and you will be getting that sadaqah jariya so you will be getting that continuous reward I hope this is inspiration for men but especially for our sisters in Islam wa jazakumullahu khairan